Should you buy the iShares Semiconductor ETF, SOXX? Pros, Cons, and Alternatives Hey Chad ETF fam! Today we're diving deep into the iShares Semiconductor ETF, ticker symbol SOXX. You might be wondering if this ETF is a golden ticket to tech riches, or a risky roller coaster ride. Buckle up, because we're about to unpack everything you need to know, what SOXX is, how it works, and whether it fits your investment style. We'll explore the benefits of SOXX, like instant exposure to the booming chip industry. But we won't sugarcoat the risks, sector concentration, anyone? And don't worry, we've got your back. We'll compare SOXX to other ETFs and even discuss building your own tech basket with individual stocks. By the end of this video, you'll be a SOXX pro, ready to make informed investment decisions. Question 1. What is iShares Semiconductor ETF? The iShares Semiconductor ETF, also known by its ticker symbol SOXX, is an exchange-traded fund, ETF, that specifically invests in companies within the semiconductor industry of the United States. Let's break this down further. Exchange-traded fund, ETF imagine a basket containing various individual stocks. An ETF functions similarly, but instead of just a single company's stock, it holds a collection of stocks from a particular sector or following a specific investment strategy. ETFs trade on stock exchanges just like individual stocks. SOXX, in this case, provides exposure to the semiconductor sector of the U.S. stock market. Semiconductor industry, semiconductors, are the building blocks of modern electronics. They are essentially materials that can conduct electricity under certain conditions. Due to their unique properties, semiconductors are vital components in computers, smartphones, tablets, and many other electronic devices. Companies within the semiconductor industry design, manufacture, and distribute these semiconductors. Investment Objective of SOXX The primary goal of SOXX is to mimic the performance of an index that tracks U.S. listed companies in the semiconductor sector. By purchasing this ETF, you're essentially investing in a basket of these semiconductor companies, hoping their overall performance will be reflected in the ETF's share price. Question 2. What is the iShares Semiconductor ETF's primary investment objective? The primary investment objective of the iShares Semiconductor ETF, SOXX, is to track the investment results of an index composed of you. S. Listed equities in the semiconductor sector. Here's a breakdown of what this means. Track an index, SOXX, doesn't actively try to pick and choose winning semiconductor stocks. Instead, it aims to mirror the performance of a specific index. This index includes a basket of companies within the U.S. semiconductor industry. U.S. Listed equities, the ETF focuses solely on companies listed on U.S. stock exchanges. So, you won't find any international semiconductor companies within SOXX. Semiconductor sector, the core target is companies involved in designing, manufacturing, and distributing semiconductors. These are the tiny electronic components crucial for modern devices like computers, smartphones, and more. By tracking this index, SOXX essentially tries to deliver an investment return that reflects the overall performance of the U.S. semiconductor industry. So, if the companies in the index experience good times and their stock prices rise, the value of SOXX shares would also be expected to rise. Why track an index? There are a couple of reasons why SOXX chooses to follow an index. Diversification, the index holds a variety of semiconductor companies, providing diversification for investors. This means you're not putting all your eggs in one basket and relying on the success of just a single company. Reduced management costs, actively managing a portfolio of individual stocks requires constant research and analysis. 
By tracking an index, SOXX avoids these ongoing costs, potentially leading to lower fees for investors. Question 3. Does the iShares Semiconductor ETF track a specific index? Yes, the iShares Semiconductor ETF, SOXX, absolutely tracks a specific index. This is a core part of its investment strategy. Here's a deeper explanation. Passive Management, SOXX, is a passively managed ETF. This means it doesn't employ a team of analysts to actively research and select individual stocks within the semiconductor sector. Instead, it follows a predetermined index. The benchmark index, the specific index that SOXX tracks, is the NYSE Semiconductor Index. This index is designed to represent the performance of U.S. listed companies in the semiconductor industry. The NYSE Semiconductor Index includes a variety of companies of various sizes, offering a broad view of the sector's health. Tracking Methodology SOXX uses a strategy to hold companies and weight them within the ETF in a way that closely mimics the NYSE Semiconductor Index. There are different methods for achieving this, but the goal is for SOX's returns to align as closely as possible with the index it tracks. Benefits of tracking an index There are several advantages to SOXX following a specific index. Diversification, as mentioned earlier, the NYSE Semiconductor Index holds a basket of companies, providing diversification for SOXX investors. This spreads the risk and avoids relying solely on the success of one or two companies. Lower fees, since SOXX passively tracks an index, it avoids the ongoing costs associated with active management, potentially leading to lower expense ratios for investors compared to actively managed funds. Transparency, the composition and weighting of the NYSE Semiconductor Index are publicly available. This allows investors to understand what drives SOX's performance. Question 4. What is the underlying asset class of the iShares Semiconductor ETF? The underlying asset class of the iShare Semiconductor ETF, SOXX, is equity. Here's why. Equity represents ownership, and equity security, commonly referred to as a stock, signifies ownership in a company. When you purchase a share of SOXX, you aren't directly acquiring ownership in individual companies. However, SOXX itself holds underlying assets that represent equity in various semiconductor companies. SOXX owns stocks. The iShares Semiconductor ETF tracks the NYSE Semiconductor Index, which is composed of stocks issued by you. S. Listed companies within the semiconductor industry. By extension, SOXX indirectly provides exposure to these underlying equities. Performance Driven by Stock Prices The value of SOXX is ultimately tied to the performance of the companies it holds through the NYSE Semiconductor Index. If the stock prices of these semiconductor companies rise, the value of SOXX would also be expected to rise. Conversely, a decline in their stock prices would likely lead to a decrease in SOX's share price. While not direct ownership it's important to note that you don't directly own shares of the semiconductor companies within SOXX. The ETF structure pools investor money to acquire the underlying equities. However, the performance of SOXX is still fundamentally driven by the performance of the underlying equity holdings. Alternative Asset Classes There are other asset classes, besides equities. Here are a few examples. Fixed income, this includes assets like bonds, which represent debt obligations of governments or corporations. Investors receive periodic interest payments and the return of the principal amount upon maturity. Commodities, this refers to raw materials like oil, gold, or agricultural products. The value of commodities can fluctuate based on factors like supply and demand. Real estate, this asset class encompasses properties like land, buildings, and other structures. 
Investors can gain exposure to real estate through direct ownership or through REITs, Real Estate Investment Trusts. The iShare Semiconductor ETF, SOXX, is an equity-based ETF. While you don't directly own the underlying semiconductor companies, SOX's value is driven by the performance of the stocks it holds within the NYSE Semiconductor Index. Understanding this underlying asset class is crucial for making informed investment decisions about SOXX. Question 5. How frequently does the iShares Semiconductor ETF rebalance its portfolio? The exact frequency of the iShares Semiconductor ETFs, SOXX, portfolio rebalancing isn't publicly disclosed by iShares. However, we can discuss the general process and factors influencing rebalancing for ETFs like SOXX. Passive Management and Rebalancing SOXX is passively managed. As discussed earlier, SOXX tracks an index, the NYSE Semiconductor Index. This means it doesn't actively buy and sell stocks based on predictions or market movements. Index rebalancing triggers rebalancing. The NYSE Semiconductor Index itself undergoes periodic rebalancing to maintain its target composition. This rebalancing might involve adding or removing companies or adjusting their weightings within the index to reflect changes in the market capitalization, total market value, of the underlying companies. SOX responds to index changes. When the NYSE Semiconductor Index rebalances, SOXX must adjust its holdings accordingly to continue accurately tracking the index. This is why SOXX rebalances, but the frequency hinges on the underlying index's rebalancing activity. Factors Affecting Index Rebalancing Predefined Rules The NYSE Semiconductor Index likely has a set of predefined rules dictating when rebalancing occurs. These rules might consider factors like a certain percentage change in a company's market capitalization relative to the index or a set time interval between rebalancing events. Maintaining Index Integrity the primary purpose of rebalancing the index is to ensure it continues to represent the target market segment, U.S. listed semiconductor companies, accurately. Deviations from the target composition due to market movements necessitate rebalancing to restore accuracy. Limited Public Information Unfortunately, iShares doesn't publicly disclose the specific frequency of the NYSE Semiconductor Index rebalancing and consequently, SOX's rebalancing activity. Question 6. What is the iShare Semiconductor ETF sector allocation? The iShare Semiconductor ETF, SOXX, focuses almost entirely on the electronic technology sector. Here's a breakdown of its sector allocation and why it's concentrated in this way. Underlying Holdings Remember, SOXX tracks the NYSE Semiconductor Index. This index specifically targets companies within the semiconductor industry. Since semiconductors are fundamental components in electronic devices, the NYSE Semiconductor Index, and by extension, SOXX, will have a heavy weighting towards the electronic technology sector. Limited Diversification by Sector Due to its focus on a specific industry, SOXX doesn't offer significant diversification across different sectors. You won't find a large allocation to other sectors like financials, healthcare, or consumer staples within SOXX. Looking at the numbers While the exact allocation percentages can fluctuate slightly over time, you can find information on SOX's sector allocation from various sources. Here's a typical breakdown. Electronic technology, around 88 to 90 percent of SOX's assets are likely allocated to the electronic technology sector. This aligns with its core objective of targeting the semiconductor industry. Producer manufacturing, a small portion, approximately 10 to 11 percent, might be allocated to the producer manufacturing sector. This could include companies involved in manufacturing equipment or materials used in the semiconductor production process. 
cash, a minimal allocation, typically around zero. 2% or less, might be held in cash equivalents to facilitate daily operations and security. Benefits and drawbacks of sector concentration. Potential for growth, the electronic technology sector, driven by advancements in semiconductors, has historically offered significant growth potential. SOX's concentrated allocation leverages this potential. Sector risk, the downside of this concentration is that SOX's performance is heavily tied to the fortunes of the electronic technology sector. If this sector experiences a downturn, SOXX would likely see a decline as well. Alternatives for diversification If you're interested in semiconductor exposure, but also want broader diversification, you could consider Technology ETFs These ETFs might hold a wider range of technology companies beyond just semiconductors. Broad market ETFs for a more balanced approach, you could explore ETFs that track the entire U.S. stock market or a specific market capitalization range, large cap, mid cap, etc. Question 7. Does the iShares Semiconductor ETF invest in domestic or international markets? The iShares Semiconductor ETF, SOXX, primarily invests in the domestic, U.S., market. Here's a breakdown of why SOXX focuses on U.S. listed companies. Underlying Index As discussed previously, SOXX tracks the NYSE Semiconductor Index. This index specifically targets companies listed on U.S. stock exchanges. The NYSE, in the name itself, indicates a focus on the New York Stock Exchange, a major U.S. exchange. Focus on U.S. Semiconductor Industry the objective of SOXX is to provide exposure to the U.S. semiconductor industry. By design, it doesn't aim to invest in international semiconductor companies. Limited international exposure, if any. It's important to note that while SOXX strives for purely domestic holdings, there might be a negligible amount of unintentional international exposure in very rare cases. This could happen due to Dual listings, a tiny number of companies might have their primary listing on a U.S. exchange, but also have secondary listings on international exchanges. In such cases, a minuscule portion of SOX's holdings could be indirectly exposed to international markets. ADR Holdings, American Depository Receipts In even rarer instances, the NYSE Semiconductor Index might hold a company that trades on a U.S. exchange through an ADR. An ADR represents shares of a foreign company held by a U.S. bank and traded on U.S. exchanges. However, such holdings within the index, and consequently within SOXX, would be minimal if they exist at all.